Fred continues to approach the panhandle. Meanwhile, we still feel the effects here all the way to the Atlantic, especially areas around southeast Georgia, coastal southeast Georgia, as you've seen multiple rounds of that tropical wet weather. And then in through Haiti, it's more of that tropical wet weather that could delay some of the search and rescue efforts following the earthquake as we've got grace that'll be moving away in the day, coming days and strengthening to a tropical storm as it takes aim close to the Yucatan and then the southern Gulf of Mexico and then into the Atlantic swirling around that little rock. Bermuda will continue to deal Deal with Tropical Depression 8, although becoming better organized, it does look like it'll be a tropical storm later today. Rounds of wet weather anticipated from the Gulf Coast to the Atlantic as Fred takes same on the uh, Florida's panhandle. And while doing so, we could still see on top of what we already saw this weekend, more rain coming in. That means standing water, puddles and ponds, and for some folks, even the potential for localized flooding. Tuesday's forecast, we still feel Fred. Wednesday, although we're getting a return to what will be our normal weather. It's still somewhat unsettled. Elevated chances will add up to about 50 to 60 percent. Daytime highs are only going to top the 80s here for today. 90s are back as we continue with the wet weather from Fred on Tuesday. And like I mentioned, about a 50 50 shot showers and storms that will continue through Saturday. A little drier on Sunday as temperatures return to near normal. And that puts us back in the 90s. That'll feel like the triple digits. Your weather authority forecast always just a click away at News or Jacks, a shout away on your favorite device. Thank you.